Britain's own Mark Godbeer faces Walt Harris this Saturday night, Madison Square Garden. We're here now in the arena. I mean, how does it feel? Um, surreal, yeah. It's been a bit of a story getting here, you know, so it's just surreal. I'm just glad to be here. I'm stoked. Looking forward to entertaining the crowd. What's the story? Um, well, obviously, I was uh, fighting uh, UFC 216 in Vegas. Um, uh, due to uh, you know um, unforeseen circumstances, the fight was uh, pulled. Um, but it's, it was UFC were really good. They, they, they rescheduled it for and and, and what, a, what a venue you know. I've been rescheduled to uh, the MSG, so the fight capital. You know this is this is it's surreal. Yeah. And you're fighting Walt Harris. He fought what, only a couple of weeks again go against Fabricio Fadum. Obviously, yeah. he suffered that round one submission. And what do you know of him? Um, He's he's in the UFC. He's good. It can't be underestimated. He's, uh, you know, v Verdum. Verdum is he's known for his um, excellent ground game. You know, so uh, he he can sort of catch any any heavyweight in that sort of position. So I can't really look past that. Um, you know, he, 19 KOs I believe between me and uh, uh, me and Harris. So you know what. Well, where's this fight going to go you know someone's getting knocked out so <laughs> well hopefully it goes in your favor um it's a big opportunity for you as a british fighter as well i mean behind michael bisping or conor mcgregor island um there's there's this space now for another breakout british star we've had darren till who made a bit yeah. of a impact against uh, cowboy cerrone what did you think of his performance um a great performance you know um he the good thing is his self-confidence he, he told everyone what he was going to do and he done it and that and that's the big thing in this game you know is it's not it's not an arrogance you you need to have this self-belief and uh he he's just beaming with it so uh, you know that his performance showed as well so Good, good luck to the guy. And where do you think a win here can take you, you personally, you know, make a name for yourself? I believe um, if, you know, if once I do beat Harris, um, it's going to put me in the UFC top 15, I believe. Um, you know, just onwards and upwards, one step at a time, get another win after this one, and then, you know, who knows, who knows where we're at. And another sort of European heavyweight that's making some noise at the moment, the Frenchman Francis um, Naganou is, I think I said that, how do I say it? Um, yeah. Naganou. Um, <laughs> <asking me. laughs> what, you know, what do you think of him as a fighter and is that a potential matchup you'd be looking at? Yeah, um, I've, I've said it I've said it before, you know, all of us, we're all in the USC for a reason. We're, we've all got a good skill set. We're all, we're, you know, we're all some of the top fighters in the world. So, um Potential matchup, um, like I said before, um, the UFC do the matchmaking. I'm here to fight. I get paid to fight. So whoever they offer me, I'll fight. You know, I'm not going to back down from anyone. If they offer me someone, I'm going to take the fight. So, yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go indeed. What are your thoughts on George St. Pierre returning and facing Michael Bisping? How do you think that one will go down? Um, I, I have to stick with the Brit. I have to stick with Bisping. It's a hard decision, really, because GSP is... One of one of the all-time greats, and Andy, Andy is one of my favourite fighters. But I, I've got to keep it, you know. I got to keep supporting the Brit. I'm a Brit myself, so. Um, but it's, it's it'd be interesting to see because obviously George has been out for a few years now, and uh, Bisping's on a roll, and and there's no denying it. The Bisping is he's a, he's a tough dude, you know. He, he he he, whatever situation you put him in, he seems to come out on top. So. It's going to be interesting, you know. I, I can see it maybe going the distance, but it's going to be a right war between the pair of them. So that's, that'd be good to see both fighters come out on top, you know, no no loser sort of scenario. But um, it's been getting the nod, maybe. Well, best of luck to you. Hopefully you'll go 2-1 and one in the UFC with your own record, and we look forward to watching you. Thank you.